Hello everyone and welcome to this very late edition of Weathercast Date. I'm meteorologist Ann Roberts. February 11th through the 13th is known as some of the uh, largest discrepancies in weather across the state in temperatures anyway. And you can really tell this from this graphic. These are actual temperatures from 1899. You'll see negative 24 in Harrison, negative 9 in Texarkana, and negative 12 here in the Little Rock area. Now, these temperatures are certainly not anywhere near what we're looking at tonight, folks. We're coming up on almost 11 o'clock, and we're seeing 71 in Little Rock, 73 in Hot Springs, 75 in Fort Smith, and even a 77 on the map in Mina. So it certainly feels a little bit more like late spring or early summer out there. Humidity is at 79%, so uh, you'll definitely feel it when you step outside. It, it really does not feel anything like February outside, but that is coming. You'll notice colder temperatures off towards the north. You'll see those 20s in Montana. Now, we're not going to be looking at anything that cold quite yet. However, we are going to be dipping our high temperatures back into that freezing lake of sorts as we will be seeing some much colder temperatures on the way for your Valentine's Day and I'll cover that in just a moment. Dew points once again are high so it definitely feels muggy outside and certainly again more like spring and less like February but again changes are on the way. Now you'll notice a very well defined trough out towards the west and all of that blue activity that is currently the showers that are moving through the, the midwest portions of the United States right now and that's really most of the activity and that is going to be affecting our forecast going into tomorrow. That cold front that you see just to the north of the Arkansas border is going to be moving through tomorrow and that's going to bring scattered showers across portions of the state early. Now we're going to be looking at patchy drizzle tonight with an overnight low of 62. The cloud cover is going to help keep those temperatures up just a tad bit. By tomorrow a high of 66. Now we may see some peekaboo sunlight so it's not going to be completely cloudy but it is going to be more clouds than sun so be aware of that as you're headed out. Now going into your extended forecast, there are certainly some major changes on the way. You'll notice temperatures dropping by your Tuesday and lots of rain as well, and that is Valentine's Day, so be aware of that. And we stay chilly for about a day, and then once again, we begin to warm back up by your weekend. Now, speaking of Valentine's Day, you can expect clouds, you can expect rain, so grab the umbrella and the coat and give yourself a little bit of extra travel time to get to your destination because it is going to be a wet and cold day. Now, going into your weekend, so far, we're looking at beautiful conditions. We're looking at temperatures near 70 and lots of sunshine. But again, that is seven days out. So I'll definitely continue to watch that as we head towards the weekend. But as of right now, just a little reminder, rainfall tomorrow and, of course, on your Valentine's Day. But otherwise, we're looking at fairly nice temperatures. Have a good night, everyone, and thank you for watching.